Hi, my name is Asaf. I work for the Wikimedia Foundation at the Community Development Team. And I want to talk to you today about Wikilearn, the new online learning and skill development platform by the Wikimedia Foundation for the Wikimedia movement. Why do we need an online learning platform? Uh, first, our strategy tells us that we do. Our strategy calls for extensive investment in skill development and training. And to achieve our st other strategic goals, we will need to improve the skills and the access to knowledge and skills in our movement among our volunteers. So that's a major need. And the lack of access to training materials and training opportunities is a major barrier to many of our communities, especially emerging communities, newer communities, communities in emerging countries, and uh, also to people who, for whatever other reason, have difficulty accessing materials, whether it is the language barrier or uh, physical barriers that prevent them from getting to places where there are training opportunities or, or training materials. Uh, so there is also an angle of equity in making sure there is an online learning platform that's available to everyone who is online at least. Um, even the existing materials that we have, and we have lots of existing training materials, are underutilized. They're not used enough. Uh, a lot of people just don't know they exist. So there is a discoverability problem of people even learning that there exists already some training materials that they could use. Um, uh, or maybe uh, they are aware it is available, but it's not in a language that they speak, so they can't use it. Uh, very often that material is outdated or unmaintained and is no longer corresponding to the way things are or to the, the way the interface looks. And so they need uh, revamping, revising, and finally, a lot of topics still aren't covered at all. We just don't have training materials, or at least don't have good training materials about lots and lots of topics. Wikilearn is our attempt to remedy that, at least in part. And it is an online learning platform that's open to the entire Wikimedia movement and anyone who has a Wikimedia account. And it is running on free software called Open edX. Open edX, that's the free software that also runs the edX.org website. Uh, and we use uh, that software to host our own version of the Open edX uh, platform. It is an established and free software LMS, learning management system. It supports uh, several teaching styles. You can have a MOOC, um, uh, course on it. You can have a self-paced study with computer-graded exercises. You can have live courses that meet at specific times and have live instruction by video call. You can embed pre-recorded videos uh, or host video calls inside the platform. You can create exercises and problems for learners to practice their skills with or without instructor assessment. You can also have them assess learners assess each other's work you can have them assess each other's work and then have instructor assessment or you can just have materials that have no uh, grades or assessment at all the platform itself is already available in several dozen languages that's the interface the platform itself um, and it is accessible according to accessibility standards so it should be usable by uh, the disabled and it allows to log in using OAuth, which means you can log in with your Wikimedia credentials and don't need uh, to use uh, another username and password in your life. And it is mobile friendly and has an app. So we think all of that makes it a good choice to run the learning platform on. And we have also augmented it, enhanced it with some custom features we felt were needed, especially course content translation, the ability to, to write a course in one language and then have 
volunteers translate it like we do to other content in the movement so that if there's a great course in say Chinese it can be translated into English not necessarily from English to other languages and then that great Chinese uh, content can through English perhaps be translated into other languages as well and the translation is done on meta using the systems that we already know on meta for translation and we can even translate video subtitles of uh, content and we're currently uh, beta testing it it's a feature that wasn't available in open edX that we developed and added uh, to the platform uh, so if you go to learn.wiki which is the url learn.wiki you will already be able to take these courses listed here introduction to partnership building addressing harassment online wikimania speaker guidebook and reading wikipedia in the classroom and we're working on this whole list of additional courses that will come available uh, in the coming year in 2023 uh, about digital security, about uh, academic research of Wikimedia projects, uh, some modules from the communications team, uh, Wikipedia en el aula uh, in Spanish, about the Wikipedia in the classroom, uh, campaign organizing in Wikimedia by the community programs team, GLAM modules from Wikimedia Sweden, fr friendly space training from Wikimedia Netherlands, and Wiki education modules from Wikimedia Poland. Um, and more will be coming. So what can you do right now? You can go to learn.wiki, press the Wikimedia button to log in with your Wikimedia account, not the username password, and enroll to some course that you would like to take. If you want to develop curriculum to build a course uh, yourself on Wikilearn, get in touch with us, write to us at this email address, comdevteam at wikimedia.org. Here's a quick look. This is what the login screen looks like. You press the Wikimedia button at the bottom. This is uh, what the course catalog looks like with the courses that are currently available. And then once you select some course, in this case, the partnership building, you can start accessing the content. You can see that the videos have subtitles, which is helpful. And uh, I hope it is fairly self-explanatory and easy to use. So go to learn.wiki and let us know what you think. Thank you for your attention.